Bowl Sunday. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Well, it's been a trying year for everybody, but the tradition continues. Super Bowl 55, away we go from Tampa. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Eagles, the 32 now. Here's first and 10. At their own 32-yard line. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. T.J. Watt there on the tackle. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Shoves him aside. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Miles Sanders. That's good. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. They go play action with Hertz. Sanders has it over the middle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back to back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hertz. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Eagles first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Miles. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the 7-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. First and goal at the 7-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. This will be caught at about the 6. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the 6 to the 5. Not much there, only a yard. And goal at the five yard line. On second down now, it's Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Hurts sets up to throw it. Hurts fumbles it. Hayward. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Now well, that's something of a pick-me-up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. The Steelers take over first and... Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and ten at their own 23. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it, and that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. It was Jalen Mills getting a hand in there defensively. Second and ten, it's Roethlisberger once more. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. This is Johnson. He's got it. Deontay. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. On first down, it's Samuels. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Jalen Samuels. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Completion here to Claypool. Chase. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. yard line. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. With 
the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and the Steelers have taken the lead. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. This short throw caught by Goddard, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. He was covered by Steven Nelson. Throwing his hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Shrugs him off. And bulldozing through multiple tackles. And he's going to be tackled inside his 10-yard line. May hear a few words from his head coach on that decision. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you... So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated. Ready to go for the second half. Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle. And we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 26. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there, almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Schuster brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. On third down, here's Samuels. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. For a Pittsburgh Steeler. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. This is Samuels. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back 11-yard gains, and they've got another first down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Gets this to his running back. That's Jalen Samuels. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play 
that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march off another 15 against your squad. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Honor! A five-yard touchdown. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And, Charles, they trail by a couple of scores, but if they could put a good drive together here, it'd go a long way toward getting them back in this football game. And if you're looking at a checklist of things that they need to do in the second half, Job number one was getting a stop, wasn't it? So, big check right there. Now they want to see if their offense can build on that momentum. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's second down. They'll run with Sanders. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Third down and 12. Hurts. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. It's now fourth down. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. And now running right through him. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And he floated one out there incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And now it's second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Eric a gain there of 21 yards. Pittsburgh Steelers. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Brings up second and. They go play action with Roethlisberger. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 34-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Eluding the pressure right. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively. And it'll be fourth down. Incomplete. 
They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger with a touchdown pass to Juju Smith-Schuster. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. And now Big Ben will lead the Steelers up to go for two. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you, can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they they had to stop them on that drive, but when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got to. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. That's Vince Williams who gets the sack. Second down, here's Hurts, a rookie. Hurts fumbles it, but I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was, and Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. They're going to look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he takes it all the way down to the 44-yard line. A big play there for the Eagles on third down. 46 yards. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Ten more there and another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon. Alshon Jeffrey there to make the grab. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. All the receivers in the league are plenty. And oh, it's blocked. The Steelers get it, but he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. I remember when they changed the rule, and there's a lot of consternation, especially coming from the kickers. Okay, how is this going to affect things, having to kick a longer one now? Much more of a field goal attempt. And the defensive guys saw it as an opportunity to get more blocked. That's exactly right. There's more effort now. Before, when it was stepped down near the goal line, you would basically see guys just stand there. Yeah, not anymore. Now, those guys are going after it because not only can they knock it away and change a little bit of momentum, they can, get two points. They can pick it up and take it back for two points. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl. 